dialogue with Kenya Kwanza. The meeting also took place against the background of a running somber mood across different parts of the country, occasioned by police brutality. If you want to know how brutal and murderous our security forces were in the protests, you have to pay attention to the burials that are taking place across Kenya. You have all attended some, and we will be attending some more in the near future. We can confirm that police killed and wounded many Kenyans. It should never have happened. It should never have happened again. And more importantly, we will do whatever it takes to ensure justice for the victims. We will ensure the perpetrators of these crimes pay. And it is actually very disappointing to see a statement from Inspector General of Police, Sakome, saying that we hired dead bodies <laughs> to accuse police of brutality. I don't know in which world he lives. Because the bodies we've been burying have bullet wounds on them. And death, death, certificates. And death certificates confirming the cause of death. One was, uh, whose neck was just chopped off in Sondo. Another one was a victim of arrow attack. So these are real, real deaths of human beings killed by Mr. Kion Nyetsakome's goons, masquerading as police officers. We continue to extend our sincere heartfelt condolences to families who lost loved ones and those who were injured. We thank all those who have contributed to our benevolence fund that has enabled us to extend some little help to victims and their families. We continue gathering data on victims, both the dead and the wounded, and we will continue extending to them whatever help we can. We appeal to all the people of goodwill to continue contributing to the fund in solidarity with our quest for a free, just, and a fair country that is governed in line with the Constitution and puts a high premium, premium